Welcome back everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about the new iOS and app update. So let's get started. First, if you start with App Store app, this has been updated with the new engraving options for AirPods and AirPods Pro. In addition, you can engrave with the new emoji according to Apple. For WhatsApp app, outside of US, most countries use this. Users will be able to use four accounts instead of one for iPad, iPhone, Mac, and so on. If you have Audible app for audiobooks, you can use Apple Watch for stream that iPhone only needs Wi-Fi or, or cellular or you can download it to your watch for listening offline or thing to use simultaneously across the devices. One passport app is not free but a good app for using across the devices. They are adding passkey support very soon. It was added with iOS 16 where you can log in using bio authentication instead rem remembering passwords. Designed at iCloud.com website was giving a new design. If you sign if you sign in, app photos and reminders, and you can see the optimization for add apps and remove apps. You can see it on your iPad, iOS, and Mac. Well the Google Maps app updating with the live view of certain reality version and see what is around it coming this week. Twitter with the update, they removed the ability to see what device you are tweeting from and I think it's a bit uncomfortable it's because it was cool to see which platform people mostly use. Also direct message and to end encryption coming soon which will be a great update for sure. If you use Swift Playgrounds, there was a big update for that wasn't a future update but important if you use it on iPad or Mac. Swift Playgrounds allows you to practice coding and learn coding and make some of your own apps. However, if you had an issue with your code and then you corrected it, there could still be an error message about it. So they updated the app so that's fixed. Make sure you are updated if you're using Swift Playgrounds, whether you for creating apps or just learning to code. Some great news for creative apps Adopt Creative Suite is now on a sale for Black Friday. You can get 25% off. If you go to adopt.com, if you are a student or a teacher, you can get it 71% off. Pretty good deal. So guys, that's pretty much it. If my video was useful, please subscribe, share it with your family and friends and follow for more. Peace.